Hi guys, I'm it's Sophie and I'm going to be showing you how to fill out layout number one. So, it's not going to say layout number one at the top, it'll say your spread name, hopefully. But this is what layout one looks like. Template, I'm just going to show you how to fill it out. So, the first thing I want to do is just, you know, I have all my photos. Let's pretend that like in a perfect world we have all the photos that we want just lined up like this. But, you know, as time goes on with your spread, you'll probably be, you know, taking out pictures, dropping in pictures, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So let's just start dropping them in, you know, wherever we want. Drop this here. So kind of like a general rule of thumb when you're dropping photos, and I'm going to be using this for my cutouts right here, so just ignore this photo, is that you want your photos to be facing inward and in I know this is like the literal opposite of what I just said, but it's a beautiful dominant photo and it can just be excused. And I though and it might be really tempting to just go to this photo and like switch it like this so it's facing inwards, but don't do that. Don't do that. It's not it's not proper journalism something. Like you're really not supposed to do that. Plus the writing would be backward. It would be really obvious, but don't flip the picture no matter how tempting it is. Don't just get a different picture. But anyway, I'm just cropping, you know, my photos. I kind of want the scoreboard in there. Cropping my photos. Blah, 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 blah. And these are your photos, obviously, because I just wanted to use them, so it's kind of realistic. And ignore this line. We'll get to it later. So I have all my photos here. And now I want to move on to my headline. So, you know, as we've told you guys, the font that we're using as, like, our headline and stuff is not a font in Wallsworth. So as you can see here on the right, like I can't do anything text related to it because it's a photo. This, however, is in Wallsworth, so we can do stuff to it, but we're gonna start with this. So to do that, uh, select your dominant photo, right click it, and then select edit photo. And I guarantee it's gonna crash, but it's okay if it does, I have a solution. So we're gonna X out of that photo, and then we're gonna click new project. And then just make the width and um, the height 5,000 pixels and make the background transparent. This is really important. Please make it transparent and then create your canvas. And it crashed, which is okay. Um, so we're going to go to Photopea, just online. So now we have this, right? So let's pretend that we opened this from your book, but we didn't because it's always going to crash. So click new project. You know, same deal, 5,000, 5,000, and then background, transparent, and then we're going to create. So in the event that it doesn't crash, it'll look like this, and um, I will have the font on Canvas for you guys to download, and I'll show you how to install it on your computer in class. I'm not going to do that right now, but... um. You know, let's pretend that we have it on here, and then I'm going to click Type Tool, and then I'm just going to drag a box. So I have my box, I have um, Fidalga already selected, you know, whatever. But, you know, just to make sure, I'm going to load the font, go to Fidalga, you know, it's already loaded. Um, and so for my headline, I have everything on here that I'm going to copy paste for you guys. So my headline is going to be on that grind. So it'll go on that grind. So the grind is going to be the actual headline. So I'm going to go in my text box. I'm going to turn on my caps lock and I'm just going to type in grind. Now I know you can barely see it, but it is right here. So just do control A or select it. Go to your you know font size up here and just type in like an outrageous number like 800. Right? So now we can see it. You know what? Uh, you can make it a little bit bigger. Boom. There you go. That's pretty good. So now the next thing that we have to do is color it because, you know, we don't want a black headline. We want it to be our pool color. So you're going to go to File. You're going to go to Open. And I have my dominant photo actually downloaded. So make sure that you download your dominant photo because you're going to need to open it in Photopea. Um, I can show you how to do that right now, actually. So you go to your photo tray. You're going to
you're going to hover over your dominant photo and you click details. Yeah, it opens a copy. No, it doesn't just or freaking crashes, excuse me. And then you click download and then you open it and boom, it's right there. So I've already done that, but that's just for you guys who, you know, don't know how to do that. And so I'm going to go to file, open, and then I'm going to click on this. And so if you look up here, I can switch between my two canvases, right? So this is where I'm making my headline. This is my DOM. So obviously we don't want all of our spreads to be green because, you know, there is a lot of green. But just for the sake of this being easy, let's just make this green. So I want to color this, but I literally want to pick a color from here. So I'm going to go to this right here. This is the eyedropper. So you're going to left click this once. And let's just left click right here. And I'm actually holding down left click and see how I can drag it wherever I want in the photo. And that's the color it's literally going to grab from the image. So I'm just going to put it right here on his back. I like this color green. And you know I clicked it. And now my color is down here. Right, I have it selected. So I'm going to switch back to my canvas over here. And now we're going to color this. So I have my magic wand tool right here. Left clicked it once, bring it over here, and just left click a letter. And then you're going to come over here to the gradient tool. I right clicked it, very important, not left click, I right clicked the gradient tool and then I clicked paint bucket. So now I have the paint bucket tool. And then I still have my G selected from when I clicked it with the magic wand. I'm just gonna left click it. And uh, photo PS sucks. So it's gonna say text layer must be rasterized first. So you're gonna come over here to where it says grind or like whatever your headline name is. You're gonna right click this and you're gonna click on rasterize. And then now just do what we were doing and left clicked it once. It's just, I don't even know what that means. It's just being dumb. Whatever. So this font, it's very texturized as you can see. And I don't know if you could see it right there, but there is a little black speck right here. And I need you guys to be paying attention and making sure you're also coloring the specs because it makes a world of a difference. And so I'm going to click on my magic wand again. I'm going to click on this little speck. I'm going to go to my paint bucket tool and just left click them. And then I'm going to zoom back out. Right? And there's another speck right there. I don't know if you saw it. Um, you know, let's zoom back in. Okay. And then I'm going to click on my magic wand again. Click on my R. On my paint bucket. Boom. And see how I'm just switching between the magic wand. I'm selecting my letter, taking the paint bucket, and filling it in. So there's a speck right here. And um, so I'm going to take my magnifying glass, make sure the plus sign is selected because that means zoom in. Click on my magic wand, select the speck, click on the paint bucket, and fill it in. And then I go back to my zoom, click on the minus, zoom out. Um, okay, it's a little off. It's okay. So if you want to move around on your canvas, click this move tool up here. Oh, I'm sorry, not the move tool. Is it the hand tool? Yes. So you're going to click on the hand tool and you, this is basically how you move around your spread or not your spread, Jesus, your, um, canvas. So I'm zooming in. I'm taking my magic wand. Selecting the end, paint bucket tool, boom, and taking my magic wand, this, paint bucket tool, boom. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this N right here, the N is really interesting, and this is also with other letters, but um, I'm just going to use my magnifying glass to show you guys. So these black pieces, the reason why it didn't turn green is because they're not actually touching anything. They're just in the space. They're not actually touching the letter. So we're going to have to fill all these in one by one. I promise it doesn't take long. Just select on a black speck, paint bucket tool, magic wand, 
paint bucket tool. And, you know, as you guys do this over the year, there are definitely a lot of shortcuts to where you can just select the whole image. I don't know how. You guys can teach me, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with being meticulous and just doing this one by one. Adds, like, maybe a minute worth of work, you know, onto your plate. So I'm just going in. Magic wand, selecting paint bucket tool. And I'm really slow, and I'm sure you guys will be way faster than me, so this really will not take long at all. And don't shy away from using specific letters because you're afraid of doing this. Like, that is so dumb. Like, please do not do that. Like, this literally takes, like, one minute worth of work. going through it and you guys can skip past this part if you don't want to watch me do this obviously And me and Amaya, we were going to make kind of like a written out style guide for you guys with like step-by-step -step stuff, but I feel like this video will be much easier because then you can actually see it happening. Because I knew if this was taught to me, I would be like, I don't even know what you're trying to say to me right now. So let me guys know if this video worked out better for you guys. Okay, so we filled out every part of our N. I'm just double checking, please double check because you really don't want to have to go back in and redo all this. You know, I filled in that spec. All my specs are filled in, yay. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing. And this is what our headline's going to look like. So I'm going to click on the move tool up here. It's just like the little mouse button with the perpendicular lines. And then where it says save selected layers, it's like the download icon. Left click it once, and then click on PNG, and it's just saved right to your desktop, or to your downloads. And um, now we're going to click, so I switch back to my spread, I'm going to click upload photos, choose photos, and then I'm going to select grind, and then, this is just the album that I'm using for this, but you're going to drop it in the... Um, album that you're using for your spread. Wait for it. Okay. Click done. Photo tray. And this will need to be updated, so a way to refresh it is just to select it again. And then here it is. Yay. Literally, like, the hardest part is done. Now, this is obviously much bigger than this. And it would be so easy just to be like, okay, this is the height, or I mean, this is the width. I'm just going to copy paste it, but look what happens when I do that. It just cuts it off. So don't do that. I know that's like the easier way, but you literally cannot do that. So I'm just going to size it like this. And it should be exactly six pike as tall. So... This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh wow, we got it. Just literally right on the nose. Well, not exactly on the nose, but pretty close to the nose, so let's work on it a bit. So I'm just gonna try and line it up. Yeah. This is six becos. This is how meticulous you guys need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There we go. Um, so you have this now. And obviously I want you guys to be a little bit more exact. Like, this is six pikas in 1.28. This is six point, or six pikas in 1.07. Like, obviously you guys can get a little bit closer, but just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. So, I am actually, 
I'm just going to kind of line up the text boxes here because they should be pretty similar. So I'm going to select both of my text boxes. I just do that by just dragging over them both. And actually, if you notice, I selected something else by accident, the background S. So to do that, this is really important. If you don't want to select your background letter, see so I've selected it. I'm right clicking it and I'm clicking locked. So now like I can't even select it, like I can't even move it. Okay, great. So I'm going back to here. I'm selecting both of my headlines. I'm going to layout and I'm gonna do this. So what I just did, I did the align right tool and it basically just aligns the text boxes to the right and then I want them aligned to the top, align top, and it should be right on top. Boom, there you go. And as you choose different um, headlines, obviously they will be different widths based on the word and the letters that you used. So I actually don't want to do a line right. That was my mistake. I'm sorry. You want to do a line left. And then we're going to select our actual headline, like the grind headline. I'm going to right click it. And then I'm going to click send. No, I'm sorry lock selected. So then when I select on top, I'm taking away the template headline. And I'm just gonna go boop, done with that. Come over here, select the other part of my headline and click bring to front. So now we have that awesome overlapping stuff happening, yay. And everything's in the exact same position. And But obviously I don't want my headline to say raise your grind, that's not what it is. I want it to say on that grind. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to double click it, and I'm just going to do just select all, and delete, on that. Um, so what I did there, to get it on the next line, I just did a space because it just worked out that way, but for most of your spreads, when you type in the first letter, just press enter to go to the next line, and then do that. Boom. I'm line done. So obviously with the um, template layout, it was a bit more overlapped. And so this is kind of where the finagling comes in. Kind of you decide um, like how much it should overlap. So to because I locked this already, so I can't select it. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. So, basically we want the left side, like treat this package right here as like one whole headline. Like, it, don't look at it as two separate things. Like, this is one whole headline. So we want our whole headline to line up with this right here. We want it to line up with our text box. So an easy way to do that is, you guys see like these ticked lines on the top and on the side? So these are actually guides. So see how um, my mouse goes from just a pointer to like a grab tool? So I'm gonna left click, and then I get this little line right here. And it's basically just a guide, it's not actually on the spread. And I'm gonna line it up with my text box here. So now I don't need to have this highlighted to see. I just need to know that this whole headline needs to line up with this. So because I locked this earlier and I can't select it, I'm going to right click anywhere on the spread and click unlock all. But remember now that means we can select our background S. So just left click it again and lock that, but now we can select this. Yay. So we're going to select both. And you're just, I use my arrow tools. And I just scoot them on over until my first letter, this T right here, is lined up with my guide right here. So, in the process, it kind of did overlap, and we do want it to overlap. So, I'm just going to scooch this over so you can see. So, this bit of the end kind of ends a little bit after the first pica. Just very barely overlay it. Hold on, I'm just going to look on my phone to see how much I actually did overlay it, so I could tell you guys. Okay. So, it started here. We want it to overlap about a little bit less than half a pica, so like this. 
And you guys will be the judge of that. I mean, you will know, like, how much it needs to be. And um, it's okay if the headline does not line up on the bottom. Or because, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to move that. Because the whole point of the font is that it looks like, like, it depends on what letter you use. On, like, the height and the width and the texture, but... There are letters like I, and trust me, it will line up to the bottom with the T. As you can see here, it's on that half pica line. So we go back to our spread we have on that grind. Yay. It looks a little bit clashy right now because we got like, pink and stuff from the template still. So now we have our pool color, and it's right here. But the next thing I want to do is work on the background letter. And to do that, I'm going to unlock all again. And so now I have my S selected. So now I have my S just here. So we're going to switch back to Photopea. We don't need this anymore. Just X out of it. Whatever. And then we're going to go to File. And then click New. And then it should bring up like your past stuff. But if not, you know, type in 5000. And 5000. Make sure it's transparent. And Create. So now we have our DOM here, our new project again. And um, hold on, I'm just looking on my phone to make sure I get the measurements right because we will have a style guide written out for you guys to look at as well. So I'm going to go to the text box. I'm just going to draw a big old thing. There we go. And I have Fidalga selected. I'm going to turn on my caps lock, type in G. Now this looks way smaller. And this needs to be huge because remember, this is our background letter. It's literally like half the spread. So, you know, let's go so crazy here. How about like 5,000? Okay. So that is pretty big. <laughs> but, you know, that's what we wanted. So it does kind of run off the page, so if you need to move your letter around, you go to the move tool and then like, I can just swing it around wherever I want. So I think this is a pretty good height and size for it. And now we just have to do what we did before with our headline. So preemptively it is going to tell you to rasterize it, so just, you know, come over here, you right click on your text layer, click rasterize, whatever. And then you're going to come over here to your magic wand and you should still have your pull color selected but if you don't you know we go back over here you know you click the eyedropper tool and then like you left click here whatever right so we have that and then select this just by left clicking it come to paint bucket tool and left click and then remember this black speck, you know, it's much easier to see now because it's freaking huge. Color that in. And everything looks to be good. So we're going to click back on our move tool. Just want to make sure it's recording. Okay, good. Um, God, wouldn't that have been horrible if, like, I was doing this for, like, 17 minutes and then it just was not recording? That would be horrible. But anyway, so we're back to our move tool. Now we're coming over here to the save selected layer. And then we're going to click P and G once again. And it's going to be G. So we come back over to Walsworth and make sure you're saving. Because I can't tell you the amount of times I was making these freaking layouts. And I didn't save. And then I went to go save. And it just like the whole website just refreshed on me. Because like it could not handle like being open for more than an hour. So make sure you guys are saving like every 10 minutes. Like please like. I do not want you to go through the same pain as I did. So here we are. Upload photos, you know, same deal as we did with our headline. G, do it to the album that we're working on. Upload. <sighs> Sorry, I'm tired. We'll get about 12 today. I've only been up for two hours. Okay, and then click done. So this is the fun part. Like, I can't tell you guys how excited I am. Like, I know that's so lame. Like, why are you excited about your book stuff? Like, you're weird. But 
I'm just so excited for how different each layout is going to look because of the color and the background letter. Like, you guys, it's going to look so good. Like, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. But anyway, so I have my photo tray open and I have my G and I'm just going to drag in. Warning, it's going to be huge. Yep, there it is. So that's okay. So I have my pan tool selected. This is how I'm moving around. And also, if you guys didn't know, this little percentage here is your zoom. Like, Look how much, ooh, pretend that's not there. That will not be there. But look how much, like, free white space. Oh, no. <laughs> free white space you guys have to work with. Like, when I was making your guys' layouts, I had, like, all of the other templates, like, on the gray side while I was, like, working on your guys' layouts so I could just reference them and stuff. So I'm going to use my zoom tool. Just go here. Just drag this out here. So this right here. This is the width and this is the height. Obviously, the width is going to be a bit different because it's the letter, but we do want the height to be somewhat similar. So I'm going to select my S and my G. I'm going to go to layout and then I'm going to do a line top. So, and then we're just going to loop and just make sure that they're being lined up. Oh! This is a great time for you guys to, you know, once again, pull out these awesome guide things. So, you know how last time I pulled it out from the side? I'm just going to drag it over here. But now I can actually pull it from the top. Yay, this is cool. So, I lined it up with my text box here. Or not my text box, my S here. And then you can see it. It's right down here. The outer edge of that S is just behind everything, so you can't see it. But now we know our G should be pretty much this tall. So, pull them out again. So, obviously, this G is much bigger than this S, but that's okay. Because it'll be behind everything, and it'll go behind the pictures, and it'll look great. But it's really, really dark. Like, imagine if I tried to put that there. Like, no. So, I have my just my G selected. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click Effects. And I'll put the percentage down so you guys don't have to remember, but it's 80%. No, excuse me, 90%. I changed that the other day. So it is 90% transparent. So I'm going to come over here. You know, go back to my just my spread. I have my G selected. Going to line it up with my S. Or just place it somewhere, like where the S is. So that the outer edge of the S, I'd say it looks good right here. And I know you can't really see what's happening, but just look really closely. Okay, so this is my G right here. You know, you can see how big it is selected. It's right here. Um, I'm going to select my S and my G. I'm going to go to layouts, and I'm just doing this like I can line them up and make sure everything's right. Okay, I don't like that. Pretend I did not do that. So I like the placement of this G, you know. It's somewhat similar where the S was. You know, I can move it over. Oh, See, look, I'm making a mistake. I have both of them selected, and I'm trying to move just the G. So unselect it, only select the G, and just kind of move it kind of to where the S kind of was. You know, you guys have good judgment. I do want the placement of the letters to be somewhat similar, and I know that's hard because of the width. But, um, you know, just try your best. It'll all be cohesive. So we have our G now. And so what I'm going to do with my G is I'm going to send it to the back because I want it behind everything. So now that my G is on the page, I'm just going to drag out my S. And just goodbye. You're done. And now we have our awesome G in the background. Yay. <laughs> um, I might want to move it out a little bit. Eh. I like it here. Okay, cool. So we're that much closer to being done. And the amount of time I'm spending doing this, guys, is about the same amount of time you would have spent on the spread last year. So don't worry. It's not like I'm overloading you guys with work. So now I want to work on my subhead, right? Oh, 
also important if you like want to select stuff like this but you keep accidentally selecting the G remember just select it right click it lock selected so now I can't select it anymore so now I want to work on my subhead but how do I work on my subhead if I don't even have my copy yet I'll show you <laughs> so this is kind of the um, copy that I used from our assignment at the beginning of the year uh, I'll just select like the first half of it I'm just copying it coming over here oh gosh I did not mean to move that oops and by the way how I'm undoing it I'm just doing control Z but you know you can do undo and redo um, so you select your text box double click it control A and delete all of the text in there and then you're gonna do control V and put all your awesome stuff in here now the layout or I'm sorry the way it's pasted is not correct because I copied it from Word so yeah so this is actually a fun little lesson so if you click back to the um, other part of the column if you see over here where it says leading it says auto and here it says is that an 18 or a 16 I can't even tell but leading is the space between lines and I don't I don't want this much space between my lines so I'm gonna select everything I'm gonna go to leading and I'm gonna click auto now that looks much better and I'm just gonna make sure it's in times it's regular it's 12 point and um, all my spacings correct so I don't know if you guys have been taught this yet but when you copy and paste your copy into copy 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 paste your copy into the spread there's very specific space so the very first letter this is my very first line I'm just gonna move this out of the way so you guys can see a bit better this guide okay this very first letter this a it should be one two three four spaces out and so let me see my next kind of little quote unquote paragraph starts with his quote my favorite so I'm just gonna back it up a bit it was already three spaces out because that's how I did it in word but so for your very first letter this is four spaces this is going to be one two three spaces and just to you know double check what I did here one two three spaces and then after understanding okay I can't see it oh so where it says quote a oh so this is also another important lesson so this is kind of like the end of the first column because it's all it can really hold so it says Understanding the individuality and complexity of each club to then translate it onto a page is easier said than done. However, through thorough research and taking a genuine interest in what makes people special, exponentially expands the yearbook's appeal. So it says expands the. So it can't fit anymore. So I'm just going to kind of just click the delete button. And there's a difference between backspace and delete, if you guys don't know. Delete gets rid of the letter in front of the blinking line and delete gets rid of the letter behind the blinking line. I'm not trying to treat you guys like idiots. I'm just not sure of like what you know. So I'm just holding down the delete button and Walsworth does lag a bit when you hold down delete. But you know, I'm just, and I'm sure there's a much more efficient way to do this, but I'm just doing this so there's no confusion. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, how long is this quote? Okay, I'm holding down the delete button, letting go, it's still loading. Oh boy, was that it? Yes, okay, so that was the last letter. So expands the... So that means we ended right here, right? So this is the other half of the quote. Now, I do want you guys to kind of readjust your copy to make sure, like, paragraphs end at the bottom of a column. But, you know, let's just pretend, like, it ended halfway through the quote. So what you would do is, you know, you get rid of all this um, 
template copy and you would highlight you know where from on from then on just kind of copy and paste select all make sure leading is auto yeah and see how it says expands the yearbook's appeal see how that looks a bit weird you would want to rearrange your copy delete some words make sure that this fits on the bottom here but you know and this is three spaces out three spaces out three spaces out and now my copy is a little bit long so let's just pretend it ends at 3000 right and um again we're just deleting all the other crap at the bottom goodbye Oh my goodness. Okay, almost there. Okay, so now I have this extra space at the bottom, right? So let's just pretend it ends here. I'm going to click enter. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click italic because you want it in italic. So I'm going to type by colon space Sophie works. And um, let's just pretend that Sasha helped me with this copy, right? You know, we wrote this together. You know, we're a team. Did it together. And so that means I should probably credit him too, right? So I'm going to space, do shift seven, so if he works, and Sasha Petrov. So this is another lesson in its own. Sasha's real name is actually not Sasha. It's Alexander. And we don't do nicknames in the yearbook, you know, besides it's like, you know, like a dead name or something, and they don't want to be called that anymore. You know, I'm not very good with the terminology and stuff, so I don't want to say anything wrong, but please correct me. So, we're not going to put down Sasha. We're going to put down Alexander. But look what happens. His last name goes over the edge, so that means we're going to have to delete another line of copy and make room for Sasha to be on there. And, you know, even though you may write this beautiful copy and it doesn't fit, just delete some words, you know, figure out your spacing. Like, there is a way to make it work. Like, I write way too much and I can still make it work. So, yeah, here's your copy. And the very last thing you need to do is you come over here to your very first letter and you select it. Come over here, click on Regular, Bold. See how the A turns bold? And then now we're going to pick our pull color. So the thing that sucks about Wallsworth is that you can't do like an eyedropper tool and then just select it right here. You have to use like one of their colors here. So what I like to do is I like to go to my zoom tool and I zoom in really, really close. I'm clicking on my, oop, did not mean to move it. I'm clicking on my text box. I'm selecting my A and I'm going over here to text. And I'm just picking a color that best matches this. I mean, no, that's like more blue. But like this is the process, guys. Like this is how meticulous freaking your book is. It's really annoying. Uh, it's like more of like a muted green. I mean, that looks pretty darn close, right, guys? No. Okay, sure. Okay, like, that's that's somewhat close. But, obviously, try and make it closer. But, you see how the spread's starting to come together? Together. Jesus. Together. Gosh, I can't speak. Because, you know, we're getting our colors in. It's looking good. So, now that we have our copy, now we can work on our subhead. And I just drew a text box for no reason. Now we can work on our subhead. So, basically, a subhead is like it's like a little like kind of insider like look into what the copy is going to be about so let's pretend that my copy is like the football team had like a wipe they had like 12 seniors that graduated and now it's like a brand new team it's a brand new season the coach is like freaking out because all the new guys suck and it's horrible but for some reason they just worked really hard over the summer and now they're freaking killing it even though they've already lost two games or something I don't even know. I should know because I'm there every game, but let's pretend I don't know, which I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about that now. So <laughs> I'm at my subhead, and so this right here, remember this font? These 
These guys are actually pictures right here. Well, this is grouped right now, but this will be ungrouped. Is it grouped? Okay. No, it's not grouped, but... So this stuff right here, I don't know why this co comma, the way I did it, that's so dumb. But the comma, whatever punctuation you do with your words will be one picture. But, like, this is one picture. You know, like, whatever. So now we're basically going to do what we did with our subhead and our letter. And we're going to do it again for this stuff. So my subhead is with a new team and new season the sky's the limit like the most boring most generic stuff i could have possibly come up with so hold on i have to sneeze <coughs> oh boy okay so i have my actual text box selected i'm going to double click it i'm going to select all and i'm going to delete it and i'm now going to paste in this and don't worry about fitting it to the whole length. I'll show you whatever you need to do for that. So select it. Double click it again. Um, select all of it. Go to your text. And it'll be the most recent color that you use. It's the one that you selected for my little A over here. And now that I'm looking at it, it's really not the same color. But you know what? That's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't worry about it now. So... I'm looking back here, and so I want you guys to pick, like, two big words, or not, like, big as in size, but two important words in your subhead that, you know, should stand out from the rest. So, like, with a new team and new season, the sky's the limit. And it doesn't have to be, you know, limited to two words. It can be three words. So, like, I could do, like, um, like, I could do new, new, and sky, I mean, that would be pretty cool, like, like new team, new season, sky's the limit, yay, whatever. So, that's what I want to do. So, I'm going to come over here to Photopea. So, I'm going to exit out of this. I don't need you, big T. And then I'm going to do file, new. I've done this, like, a thousand times now. Five thousand, five thousand, transparent background, create. This is a pretty long video. We have to do this for like five other layouts. <laughs> Yay. Okay. <laughs> so we have this now. Um, you're gonna come over here to your text, you're gonna draw a box. I have Fidalga selected and I'm gonna turn on my caps lock and I'm just gonna type in new. Now it's very big, obviously, so I'm gonna do control A and I'm gonna bring it down to like 500 but obviously I wanted a bit bigger than that so let's try 8 2000 oh, that's 200 Sophie 2000 okay this looks pretty good I just like it being in the middle when I do stuff so I just use my move tool move it around whatever remember rasterize it because um photopia makes no sense so I'm coming over here right clicking this rasterize and then I'm going here to my magic wand. Oh, and this is an N. So, you know, we're going to have to do all that awesome stuff. And, you know, I should have my eyedropper tool from, like, the last color that I picked. And so I'm going through here. I'm just now realizing I did this all on the actual template instead of making a copy of the template. I am not smart, you guys. Like, really. Oh, and look, I just made a mistake. Look, I took my eyedropper tool and I selected the black. So what does that mean I have to do? I go back over here, I select it again, and come back over here. Select it with my magic wand. Get my paint bucket tool. No, not eyedropper, Sophie. Magic wand. Paint bucket. Boom. And now we get to go over here. Like, you guys, like, I'm really just so upset that I actually did this on the actual freaking template. Like, I'm now realizing, like, the implications of my horrible mistake. So, anyway, I'm going through here, doing all this awesome stuff again. 
I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm losing steam. Because I'm just not realizing I have to do this for, like, all the other layouts. Or maybe if you guys are really smart, I won't have to. Right? Do you think you guys can figure it out? Probably not. It's a lot. Not that you guys are dumb, it's just that it's a lot. Okay. Boop. And I know you guys like hate being graded and stuff, but like there's no grades in your book. But I think I might make it an assignment for you guys just to do all the stuff that I'm doing on, like, at least one of your layouts so I can just see that you guys know how to do it. Because, like, just look how much time this takes for me to do it. But this is only one spread. Like, if you guys don't know how to do this, I'm going to have to help you on, like, the 30 spreads that are due, like, per deadline. Like, that's a lot for me, guys. And, like, I'm really, really busy. Not to say that you're not, but... You know, like, please be paying attention to, like, what I'm doing so I don't have to help you. Like, I will help you, and I won't be upset about it, but, like, you know, after, like, the first couple spreads, like, you guys need to be on your own. Free thinkers. And I'm taking my Labor Day to do this because I am really not that creative, you guys. So, like, coming up with the templates, like, required, like, 99.9% .9 of my brain power. It was, it was bad. Like, I'm really not that creative. Okay, so now we have our new, we've done all that crap. So, you know, you know the drill. We're going to save selected layers. This little download button, we're cooking PNG. It's going to say new. Yep. Great. But remember, we wanted to do three words. Thank God that, you know, it's new, new, and skies. So we only have to make one more because, we, you know, we could just upload two pictures of new. But for you to, you know, overachievers, and by, I mean all of you guys should be overachievers because you should do what's best for the spread, not what's best for your time. I'm going to do the same thing again. Ooh, not open. That's not what I just did. I'm going to do new, create, text, drag, capital skies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just now realizing that the apostrophe in this freaking font is a star. I don't want a star, you guys. Okay, look, this is how we're going to do it, right? We're going to have a solution for this. So, and I'm just doing this on the fly. <laughs> but, um, and you will have to make these apo or commas anyway. So we're just going to use a comma as an apostrophe because it looks just like it. You know, like, it's going to be great. So, let's see how much the space is. Yeah, okay. So if you guys are doing a word that has an apostrophe, you know, you're going to type out, you know, sky space s and the apostrophe will go right here i wonder how that looks i'm just gonna put it on the bottom here yeah that's pretty good spacing okay so anyway we're doing sky and then s um and then we're gonna rasterize it and we're gonna do magic wand paint bucket and you guys like i literally swear like they taught me this at camp there's like an easier way just to select all of it at once if you learn how to do it like please share it with me because this is literally like killing me okay awesome i have all my stuff here so i am new new and then i have my skies and we'll do the apostrophe later don't worry so i'm going up here to my move tool to the download button PNG. Boom, there it is. Okay. Um, and you know what, while we're at it, no, not while we're at it, we will get there. I'm not going to overload you guys. So, upload photos, choose photos. I'm going to select these two guys. 
video one upload done yay so now i have my yeah and you're gonna see it's gonna start to fill up real quick so we have her words here so this is interesting because you guys it's gonna be different like every time like on every single spread it's gonna be really cool like it's gonna look so different and so cool for every spread i'm really excited so this is what the template was. So I'm just moving that off the side. I'm going to come down a bit. So um, we'll get to this part later. So I want to focus on dropping in my new. Okay, that is very hard. So let me zoom out a bit and just boop. We're going down, 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 down. And we'll work on sizing in a second. So... I just copy and paste that. I got my two news. And then photo tray. I have my skies. I know it looks weird at the apostrophe. Don't worry. We'll get there. Okay. Going to zoom in over here. And I'm just going to use this as kind of a point of reference. So I'm going to line up the bottom of the T with this bottom line right here or the I you know something that goes kind of to the top okay so this kind of word that I've chosen here for my template size because I want the size to be the same okay like the letters can be different whatever but the sizing needs to be the same otherwise it just looks weird so like please make sure you're being very meticulous with size because I'm going to Go in and double check everything and make sure everything's right. But like, guys, look how cool this looks. It looks so cool. Okay. I'm going to just scoot this over a bit using my arrow keys. I'm going to drag this up next to it. So, obviously these are not the same size yet. So, I'm just going to line them up on the bottom. So, we have one place to start. These do not look the same. Okay, so... Just line them up on this line. And so they go to be about, look, I'm going to draw my awesome guide to line up to here. Wow, that was pretty on point. But um, there's like a little sliver, a little, little sliver. Mm, even more of a sliver. Yes, look, look how awesome this is, guys. Look, like the exact same size. Okay. So that means I actually don't need this other, don't need this other dude because I can just copy paste. Yay. So now I have my two news. Let's move this out to the side because you know we got that. And now we're going to bring over our sky. And this is like really easy, you guys. Like, I'm just, I'm just doing it kind of fast because like I've done this a million times, but I mean, like, when you guys do it, like, it is literally so easy. Like, you'll be fine. Okay. Okay, so they're lined up on here. So I need that little sliver of space. Oh, my God, I just moved the guideline. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so, you know, I got that little sliver of space. Can you see it? That little tiny sliver. I can't zoom in anymore. But it's there. So now my sizing is all correct. Yay. So I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. And I don't need you. Okay. So I'm going to drag over these guys. Make sure when you're moving it, like you're not changing the size. Because I do that a lot by accident. So with a new team and a new season... So this is where you guys get to be, like, creative. So I want new team, like, on the same line. And I don't want, like, see, like, I'm just going to experiment. 
so like I could have like like the word why am I like getting the sniffles like ew so like I could have new here and new here but I you know I don't really like the way that looks so I could do new team and new season the sky's the limit so like I can make it like this like it can literally be whatever I want so and you know what? let's just let's not delete anything yet just kind of move them over and just see how you know if we like it do we like the layout new new sky I have to see it you know I'm not really vibing with that like I don't like that so the great thing about it is this undo button go back over here and undo all the spacing I did so kind of my original idea was that I wanted new and season to kind of like new team and new season to be on the same line but um, season's a bit too big of a word but you know we can get around that because remember our image it's a little bit smaller than our actual thing so I'm just gonna go ahead so remember this kind of spacing because we do want room so okay let me explain to you what I'm doing here let me go back so with a new team a new season I need to leave space here in the text for me to put this image on top so like what happens like when I delete this like there's no room for new now so I just click tab right to kind of space it out oh my god I just heard my cat like snoring that like freaked me out okay so now I have like new here and that's a little bit too much of a space for me so I'm gonna click back and you know obviously it'll untab it so I'm gonna do one yep I'm just spacing it out like I kind of like that spacing and you know what if, if I want even more just get another space in there but you know I think I like it here okay and now we can delete this but I do want the spacing to be consistent so this looks like it was about four spaces so one two three oh that's so sad because that means I can't fit my new oh okay it's okay we will live but Hmm. But do you guys just see how, like, I'm playing around with the spacing? Like, if I don't like it, like, I can just, like, move stuff around. So, let's delete skies. I'm going to have to have that the, the second the on the next line. The sky's the limit. So, I'm just not liking the way this is looking because with a new team and new season, the sky's the limit. Like, I don't like how it says the, like, right next to each other. Um, like, I'm just playing around, and you don't have to be exact with the spacing just yet. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be on the next line. Poo. Oops. And you guys can change, like, what your subhead says if you don't like the layout. Actually, I feel like team has to be on its, on the next line to match the season. What about and on the next line? Move this new down a bit. Move this. Oh, you know what, guys? Oh, hold on. Look, I think I may... I think this might make it look a bit better. Let's see. No. Okay, just kidding. With a new team, a new season, the sky's the limit. Okay. Obviously, this looks kind of poop. But that's just because of it's a horrible subhead. 
But, um, like, do you see how I, and honestly, like, you guys don't have, like, you couldn't have to have chosen new and new. Like, you could have chosen team and season and limit. That honestly would have been way better. Like, a lot better. But, you know, like, we live and we learn. Okay. So, obviously, this guy is a bit out of place. But for right now, I just want to line up my new and my new with the left side. So... The text or the boxes for it are a bit weird, but we can try this. We go to layout, align left. So, because these this font has feet, the feet kind of extend past where the actual letter is. So, like when I align my new and my new with this, it aligns it with the edge of the feet, so it looks like it's not in line, right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and lock the actual text path. Or not the path, jeez. The text box. And I'm just going to play around with the pictures. So I do want these in line. That's done. But now I'm going to align them with where the actual letter is. So the actual letter is looking to be, look, I'm going to pull a guide. Like right on this pica. So I'm going to select my new and my new. Oops, looks like I moved this one a bit too much. You know, make sure that they're aligned. Please make sure that you're constantly aligning them. And yeah, that looks pretty, you know, in line with it. And now I want to, so I have the spacing this way complete. Now I need to think of spacing between the letters. So right now I have about a half a pica and like a third. So like three-fourths picas. So Let's think about this. So this is like a little bit less than full pica. And this is also a little bit less than full pica. This looks more in the center between these two letters. Now I got to do the same thing over here. So a little bit less than a full pica. I might have to move it back down a bit. Hmm. Yeah, this looks pretty in line to me. This looks between it. And then now we have the sky. So I'm just going to unlock it so I can see like where the outer edge of the text box is. So um, actually, it doesn't even matter. I want it to be in line with my season right here because that is the farthest letter out, right? So, you know, you don't want it to be in line with the outer edge of the text box. Oh, look, this is getting in the way. So I'm just going to lock it. Because if it was in line with the outer edge of the text box, like, it would look like this, and that just looks weird. So, put it back. We want it over here. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> You're going to go to zoom, and then zoom in. Take this, and I'm going to align it with the very outer edge of my season, which is, like, right here. Zoom in. Align it. Yep, looks pretty good. And so now I kind of, again, I'm thinking of that vertical spacing, making sure it's in the center. Going to lock this. So this looks like it's about, not counting the comma, about a half pike and a half pike, a little bit less. And this is about a half pike. A... You know what, don't even think that way. Think of it trying to center this and this, like, on the same line. Which, honestly, it's pretty in line already. Yeah, I think it was good where it was. Okay, so there's your subhead, guys. So I'm just going to unlock it so you can see it. Lock this again. Going to get rid of the guide so you can see it. This is what it's looking like so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of it. And I'm going to group... Actually, no. So I'm going to shorten this up a bit. Get it to as barely much as it can be. You'll see why in a second. Okay. So this looks like that's its limit. And so I'm going to select it. I'm going to group it. I'm going to select this subhead in this column of text. I'm going to do a line center vertically. And see, look what just happened. I'm going to undo it so you can see. See how it moved from here? And now it's in line with it. And that's already looking much better.
Okay, so I'd say we're about like three fourths done, you guys. Okay, closer and closer and closer. Um, yeah, so there you go. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my captions. So pretend that these are my actual captions here and that these are my actual caption titles. So this is pink. We don't want it to be pink. So I'll just zoom in so you can see here. You take select. You're going to select this, not the actual caption, the header. Go to text and select your pull color. And see how it's just changing the coloring of the letter? And I'm going to do that over here. Yay. There we go. You guys, I'm like really worried about my original template. Like, I mean, I can always change the pictures back. Okay. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I cussed. Ugh, I just don't want to lose my original template. You don't want, it takes like two minutes to put back. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to keep going with this. Forget I even said anything. So, you know, now we've colored all of our captions. And it's looking good. You know, this is still pink, but this is the last bit. Now we have like this random line. Like, what is this? So, kind of the vibe that we're going for in this book. Is this like a separate thing? Like, what is happening? Oops. Oh my gosh, it is. Like, what happened here? Anyway, the vibe that we're going for um, is we kind of want that hand-drawn, like, we like outlines, like, it looks varying per spread. And so, the previous picture here was, you know, Sasha with his awesome hat. That's actually my mom's. And um, I kind of drew, like, an outline on it. So, I kind of want an outline here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to zoom in on my awesome number six guy. I'm going to go to draw, and I'm just going to choose a portion of the picture to outline. Like, let's think of, like, what would be cool to outline here on this spread? Maybe, like, his arm to here? I think that would be cool. Let's try that. So, I'm going to start. I'm, I have my draw tool selected. Probably curved. Here. And see how I'm just drawing around him, being very meticulous, making it look good. Ooh, fingers suck. Try not to do fingers. It's okay if it looks like a little bit wrong because, um, like the whole point is for it to look like hand drawn and messy and cool. So, you know, we're going through all this. Actually, might be an angle. So, see how, like, there's a curve and there's an angle tool? So, like, this is an angle tool. So, this will make it, like, straight line. And then go back to curve. He's got a curvy little arm. This looks pretty straight to me. Make this angle. Go back to curve. This is definitely a curve up here. I mean, guys, this is like a freaking circle. Here we go. I just kind of want to get it in line with this over here. So I'm just going to, let's say, like right after the shoulder pad. Okay. And then to, to end. This is a really good lesson, honestly. Do you remember when I was telling you how the website would just quit on me? And look what happens, you guys. I go back in here. I have to unlock it. And I edit it. And half the stuff I just did is gone. Look, even my freaking G is gone. This is why... You have to save your spreads, you guys. I cannot believe I actually just recorded that happening. But you know, it's a good lesson. That means we get to go over everything twice. Yay. You can tell how happy I am. Ugh. Look, so I'm lining this to the top. I'm scooting it out so I can see it better. 
I don't need my guide again. So it's about to the bottom of that bleed bar. A little bit less. Okay, good enough. I'm very upset right now. And look, I make this 90% transparent. I'm deleting my S. Using my arrow key to scooch it over. You can just drag it, but I don't want the height to change where it is, so I'm just gonna put it over. I literally cannot believe I got that on freaking video. Look, after I play this place SG, I'm gonna freaking save it. I'm gonna freaking save it. I'm so mad. Oh my god, look, and our copy is all gone too. Oh. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Okay, so I'm locking this out of the way. I'm just copy and pasting this for like when I fix the layout later, you guys. Like, don't worry about what I'm doing right now. Like, forget I just said that. This is for me later. So. Oh, dude, let's just pretend you guys already know how to do copy. I showed you and the color we picked is gone too. Let's just pretend it's this and then look, it's bold, making sure it's bold. We know how to do everything. I showed you how to do byline. There better be no questions about that because I'm not redoing that. Oh, look, I'm saving. I'm freaking saving. Okay. We're over here. <laughs> this literally makes me want to cry. <sighs> and y'all thought I was freaking joking about it not saving. <gasps> Hi, Squeaky. Well, I wish I had a camera you guys could see like my little kid and oh my gosh she's literally just laying in my arms you're so cute she just like got to four pounds guys I'm gonna keep doing this while I'm talking about her but I don't know if you guys know but I have a friend named Gio and I found this cat and I'm just redoing what I did so like don't worry about what I'm doing um I have a friend named Gio and he had a cat in his garage who was just crying and crying and crying. But the little baby was six freaking ounces. Guys, she was like 10 days old. And that was Squiggy. I took her home. I learned how to bottle feed a cat. And every two hours, even during the middle of the freaking night, um, I got up and I fed her every two hours. And I had to manually poop and peer because... I don't know if you, it's kind of gross, you guys, but, um, when cats, like, gosh, I don't even know until, like, they're, like, a month? No, 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 no. Like, four weeks, maybe. Four or three weeks, something like that. They don't know how to go to the bathroom by themselves. So, um, basically, in the wild, their mom, okay, this is really gross, like, prepare yourself, the mom, like, licks their freaking butthole to, like, stimulate them to go pee and poop. It's so freaking nasty. I mean, I, I didn't lick my cat's butthole to stimulate them, but, like, I had to take, like, a warm paper towel and just rub her butthole, like, please. It was so freaking gross. But now she's a big old baby, and she does it by herself. Well, not lick her butthole, but go to the bathroom. Okay, anyway, so you're just watching <laughs> me resize everything. Uh, a little bit more. And she's this beautiful little tabby, and I love her to freaking death. And she's so social because, like, I mean, like, I'm pretty much like her parent. Like, I, I mean, I raised her. Um, I remember at, like, four in the morning when I got up to feed her one time. Or not one time, but one of the many times. I... I wanted to start litter box training her because I thought she was ready and I woke up and I looked in the litter box and I just saw like the tiniest little freaking turd in the box and you know my mom wakes up at like the crack of dawn 
and like I ran out of my room I was like mom mom she went she went crap she went crap and I was just so happy because that means I didn't have to freaking rub her butthole anymore it was it was like one of the happiest moments of my life like really raising a cat is just so rewarding and it's amazing and if you guys ever have the opportunity to save a life like that like you should definitely do it it's so cool and now she's my little baby. Come here, Squig. Okay. So remember, we're going to color this um, text box green. And make sure everything's in line. Oh, she's tired. She's laying on me. She's tired. I remember we're going to shorten up this text box. So when we center align it with the um thing right here, it actually aligns with the genuine text box. So we're going to lay out. Okay. All right. Save. Oh, she's so cute. Okay. Okay, and for my other videos, it will not be as long as this one because I'm showing you how to do all that stuff. So I'm just going to be showing you like mod stuff on the other ones. So now we're going to go through and we're going to color all of our text. And honestly, you can just skip past to like the part where I'm like drawing it because that's where we left off before it just crapped itself. So, here we go, once again, starting under his armpit. This guy's got like the most perfect freaking arm I've ever seen. Okay. I just feel bad for Hunter because like he doesn't have a freaking computer guy. Like imagine doing this at home and like you're so lost and you can't even ask me what to do like over the phone. You know, the poor Hunter just like sitting there like not like. Wait, Hunt I wonder if Hunter takes the computer home. He probably does. Sorry for exposing you like that, Hunter. Anyway, I'm just going around town. So if you kind of look like where his fingers are, like it looks a bit jacked because I used the curve tool and I forgot to use the angle tool. But don't worry, I'm going to show you a way to fix that. So I want to end my curve path, so I'm going to click on the last point and see how it turns white. I'm going to select angle. See, I want this to be angle. Boom. That's an angle. I want this to be an angle. It's an angle. I want this to be an angle. Boom. Angle. I need this to be an angle. Yay. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, we don't want it to be pink, although the pink does look, like, really cool. We want it to be, um, green. Remember, that's our pool color, green. Yay. And so, I do want it to look a little bit messy, so make it a little bit bigger than it should be and kind of just place it over it. You know, mess around with it. Hide in it a bit. Oh, no, yeah, there you go. Shorten it. Okay, so right, that looks cool, like the little hand-drawn, it's very, like, light, but, um, it makes a difference, like, it adds, like, that kind of, you know, sense of, like, wow, they actually care about this bed, look, it's, like, drawn on. Okay, save. So we're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. She's having me scratch, like, the base of her tail, and she looks so happy, laying on my little desk. Okay, so we're here. This is the beast, you guys. This is the beast of the freaking spread. So, I love this mod because you guys have so many options. Like, it does not have to be placed in the middle. It can be placed to the left, whatever. 
But what I thought I'd show you guys is a really fun, cool way to do this. So usually this would be like two separate people, right? But if you don't want to do that and you have like a kick-ass picture like this, let me zoom out so you guys can see, where it's like one picture of two people, but they're like connected like this. Like this is a I didn't want to take this picture. Like you are so freaking badass. Like this is amazing. I love this picture. Whoever's doing the football spread, you need to decide to either use this photo or this photo for the dominant. Because I didn't even see, like, the bottom half of, like, how beautiful this is. I didn't even see him holding the football. So cool. I love this photo. Oh, my God. Amazing. Anyway, I want... Actually, don't get rid of it. I want to use this as my cutout for here. Like, imagine how cool that'd be, right? So, you know, you could... Right click it, go to clipping path, clear it, and just freaking do this garbage all the way around. I'm not doing that. I'm lazy. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to download it. And I don't know if this is cheating or if it's against like scholastic journalistic journalism thing. I don't know. I don't care. This is easier. So I'm going to drag it to my downloads. Okay, so I'm downloaded it. It's in my downloads. And I'm going to go to, um, I'm just going to use Brave. Okay. Okay, we're not watching Tyler 1 right now. So we're going to go to BG Remover. And don't look at Adobe. I know that's fancy stuff. We're going to go to remove.bg. This website is literally my life. Like, you don't even understand. And I'm going to select this photo. And look, it literally just took out the freaking background for me. And you know, it's not perfect. You know, like, we have that random crap down there. Because, look, it's like the referee. So we're going to edit it. And this is where you will have to do some work, but, like, look how much, like, work you just skipped out on. Like, that is freaking amazing. And I'm going to go to erase, you know, get my brush size and just loop. Like, you guys, this is literally, like, the epitome of laziness. Oh, no. I don't want to take a chunk of his lug out. Go back. And I have, like, really shaky hands, so this will probably be better for most of you. And honestly, like, when you do the outline, it will cover him a bit, but, you know, whatever. We'll just try our best. This is, like, requiring all of my focus. I keep taking chunks out of his leg. <gasps> oh, that's actually not that bad. Yay, okay, download. Download image. Cut out. Here. Oh, no, cut out. Just add a couple T's. Okay. And then go back to here. I don't need this. I'm going to upload photo, choose photo, cut out. I mean, look how much freaking time I saved. Do you imagine if I had to cut out that whole thing? I think I'd, like, actually die. Okay. Where are you? Oh, yeah, remember, you have to refresh it because Waltverse is slow. Yes. Here. My beautiful cutout. <gasps> no. Okay, life lesson here, guys. This is obviously not the right size, right? So what you can do... Is um, I'm gonna go to my files. I'm gonna open up this. Okay, that bothers me a little bit, but you know, you guys can fix that. So, I'm gonna click on these three dots. Mm -hmm. Resize, fine. Just make it like a thousand, like, just make it bigger. Save, resize, copy. 
go back to here, upload it again, the one with the even more T's. Okay. Come on. And now I'm just going to delete that other one so I don't get confused. It's the one with like the less T's. Yeah, it's definitely this one. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay. And walls with this load, so it probably hasn't even updated yet. Okay, here we go. So this will be a bit bigger. And yeah, like we can make this work. Oh my god, am I going to have to go even bigger? Oh my god, you guys. What do you mean? <sighs> Alright, here we go again. <laughs> but, like, this is the meticulousness, like, this freaking class demands, like. You know what? Just to be safe. Cut toot. Okay, let's just go with that. Bye. Go back here, upload another one. And you guys will be so much smarter than me. Like, this will not even take the amount of time it's taking me right now. But usually you would have to do this with two pictures because, you know, there's two cutouts. But I want two people in my mod, right? I'm telling you, like, you need to have two people in your mod. And, you know, this is a picture with two people. And it would make for a badass cutout. So that's what I want to do. Let me see if this is cut touch. Okay, yeah, this one. Okay, it's going to be huge. Prepare yourself. Okay, it's not even that big. Okay. This is Sky. This is Eric. Goodbye. Um, so we want about we want to kind of match the sizing a bit if possible. Okay, well, number 3 is a bit bigger. It's okay. Okay, great. That's good enough. So, let's just put this here just to see how it would look. Oh, that looks so badass, you guys. Look at that. Okay, so I know. I'm sorry, Hamaya. I will not usually edit your guys' photos because I know some people get offended by that, but I know Hamaya doesn't care. But I'm just going to make it a bit brighter because it's just bothering me a little bit. So, this is also something that you need to learn. You can edit your photos right here. In Wallsworth, so I'm just going to make it, like, maybe two. Yeah, see, it's already looking, like, cooler. I think four might be too much. Okay, maybe not. Looks pretty good, you guys. Oh, and this white actually works out because the background is white. There you go. And, like, between his hand and the football that I was complaining about. Okay, so now we're going to have to do this outline. So... I might have to make them just a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to get rid of the bleed bar so you can see his cheeks and stuff. So we can make sure we know what we're doing. So this actually will require some manual labor. We're just going to start drawing around our guys. This is angle, angle, oh the fingers, not the fingers, no, and I'm using angle by accident. See the great thing about, this is the one thing I will say Walsworth does a good job with is like their draw and like clipping stuff, like you can just go back and edit the points and whatever. And, like, please don't half-ass this because, like, we want, like, it to look hand-drawn, sure, but, like, make it look decent, you guys, like, at least put a little bit of effort, like, I'm kind of half-assing it right now because I can because I'm just showing you guys how to do it, like, this is not what the actual spread will look like unless you want it to look this way. Um, I mean, you guys have already taken, like, a million fantastic pictures, it's, like, actually insane but 
you know, whatever. But this really doesn't take that long. Like, I've spent, like, what, like, maybe one minute so far doing this. Like, it's not horribly time-consuming. And, you know, you can just watch me as I'm switching between, oops, switching between angle and the curve tool. I wish I could get in there and kind of draw an outline around that, but, you know, what can you do? God, why do they all have freaking dumpies? Like, what is the issue? Okay. Oh, that was so bad. I misplaced a point. I don't feel like fixing it. Okay. That is definitely a straight line, I think. Like, look how cool the football is. Amaya, you did such a good job. If you photography, photography took this picture, if you didn't, you're still a great photographer. Whoever took this, good job. I don't know who actually took it. Like, you guys, like, I'm already thinking of, like, what I'm doing for... Actually, I'll talk about that later, but... Anyway, so obviously there are some mistakes here. So I want this to be an angle. I want this to be an angle. This to be an angle. I probably need the fingies to be an angle. I don't want this to be an angle. See, I can switch it to not be an angle as well. Um, I need this to be an angle down here. Oh, that's curved, Sophie. Oh, gosh. That needs to be an angle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you're going to get a really awkward shape like this. So you go to border, and you click on your thing, and then you go to fill, and you click none. Okay, and then we have this pretty, pretty decent cutout. We're going to make it a little bit bigger, because remember, we kind of want that messy, kind of esque, like, so artistic kind of vibe. Yay, cutout done. Yippee. Okay, hold on, I'm just taking a break to pet my cat because this is, like, so mentally draining. Guys, like, the spread is coming together. Look how good it looks. Oh, my God, she's, like, stretching out on my... Oh, hi, honey. You're so cute. I'm gonna fall off my desk. Okay. Okay, guys, we're on the home stretch. Save. Save your freaking thing. Save. Save. Okay. Please make sure it's still recording. Okay. Okay. So look at look at what we have left. So we have this left, this left, and this left. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but with my Eric cut out here, right? I kind of had to um, change the shape of my quote here. And I'll show you how to do that really quick. So, you know, let's pretend I want to make... And don't skip past this part. This is important. Make my quote, like, right here. So I'm going to go to the draw tool. I'm going to take an angle. Because, you know, I want it to be square. And look, I'm just drawing where I want my text box to be. You know, obviously it's not that straight. But, you know, like, I make my text box. Wow, well, it's really ugly. You know, I already have fill. That's why it's you can't see anything. And then I go to border. There's no border because remember, I want this to be a text box. So I have it selected. I click on text. Hi, guys. I'm so... Yes, and yes, and wow, you're so cool. I love roses. And beach dyed. Yep, please. Yes. Okay. That is how you make, oh, it's actually a pretty good shape. <laughs> this is how you make, um, 
like text boxes that are shaped. I just showed you how to do that really quick. Okay, but obviously this quote, it, it doesn't need to have it. So this is the um, thing. So I'm just going to lock it because I don't want it to move. And then this is the outline. I don't want it to move. I'm going to lock it. This does not need to have that shape because just the nature of it, it just doesn't need it. So let's see. This is like 6.10. It's about 11 picas tall. So I'm going to delete it. I'm going to draw a text box, a normal one. If it'll allow me to. Okay. And I already forgot how much it was. Six. What was it like? 10p11? Oh. 10p11. Um. Cool, I love football and my bro, yes, wow, okay, I love my cat name, Squiggy, she's really cool and amazing, and you should try raising a cat, it's very rewarding. Okay, so obviously this is wrong font, I'm going to double click it, select all, Helvetica, no, times, yes, regular... 11 points. Mods and captions. Oh, you're 11. 11, 11, 11. And I want this black. Okay, yay. Okay. So let's pretend this is my quote. So I kind of want the first letter to be like. Someone in the quote. Like you see how like the little tail of it ends like right here kind of want that to be in line with it in the middle and then let's just say like it ends here that's the end of my quote then i'm gonna scoochy this on over yep there you go um yep i mean that's pretty much it guys and then all we gotta do now is this little mod here in the quotation marks which is literally like easy it's so freaking easy so go out of this you guys know the drill. That's not the drill. This is the drill. Okay. <sighs> Home stretch. Home stretch. Stay strong. Stay strong, guys. I'm trying to. So, this doesn't have to be two words. Like, this could be a longer word and then it could overlap. It kind of looks ugly, though. So let's just say my thing is for life. Oh my god, she's stretching again. She's so freaking cute. Hi, honey. Oh, are you tired? She's a little igloo. She likes to sleep in, but she can sleep on my chest right now. Okay, so we have listen up, and we want it to be for life. So this is a Walsworth font, so we can just go right here for. And then this needs to be life. So text... Oops. Undo. Okay. And then this is going to say life. Oh my god, that F looks so cool. I've never even typed an F before, guys. It looks so cool. Okay. This looks big enough. Rasterize it because this makes no sense. And then. We start the process of doing this crap. No, not a dropper tool. Oh, what's that, guys? It's a speck. You better freaking click on it. Oh my gosh, I can't see it. That means I have to zoom in. Oh, I actually did click on it. That's pretty impressive. Okay. And then we're going to zoom back out. And then I'm going to take this tool, move it over. Boom. Last one. Last one. Done. Yay. This one. Here. PNG. Yay. Okay, while we're here, get rid of this. Let's do our freaking quotation marks. By quotation marks, I mean commas. Because 
remember the th uh, the actual apostrophe is a star for some reason. So text, comma. That's not a comma, you guys. Okay, this is, trust me, this is really big for quotation marks. So look how easy. Select. Oh, I'm my bad. Okay. PNG. Yay, you guys. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I am that we're almost done. Up. Oh, wait. Yes, upload photos. Open. Video 1. Honestly, you guys can watch this on, like, 1.25 speed because, like... I am really slow. But you guys, if you think about it, you have like maybe like a month like per deadline to work on your spreads. Like I'd say you take about like a week of like class period time to like do this to all your layouts. And then you use the rest of your time to like make copy and captions. Like it is really like easy. Like you guys will be good. Like you'll be good. Oh, my poor baby wants her igloo so bad. Hold on, let me get her her igloo. Which means I have to take crap off my desk. One second. The cat comes first. Always the cat comes first. Okay, let's get you your igloo, honey. Come here. Igloo. Here's your igloo. Okay, you go in there. You go. Go in your igloo. Okay. Oh, you're so happy in your little igloo, aren't you? I like to put the igloo on my desk so I can, like, see her face while I'm doing stuff. <sighs> okay. okay. She's in her igloo. She's happy. She's taken care of. Oh, and she's walking out of the igloo to come just lay on my arms anyway. Okay, well, that was time well spent. So remember, we have to refresh this. I'm just going to move the igloo back down if she wants to be annoying. Okay. So we have life. Life is huge. No pun intended. That didn't even make sense. Okay. It's here. Now we're going to size this thing. So let's line it up. So it looks like it's about like sitting kind of like a little bit above the pica, like maybe two pike, like two like little arrow key spaces. You know what? To double check, look, we have this awesome thing, and then we have this awesome thing for the very bottom. Wow, guys, that's like pretty on point, honestly. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to do that. No. This. One more. One more. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good, you guys. Like, look at that. Okay. Now we're going to highlight. Oh, my gosh. We're... Go away. We're going to highlight these two. We're going to go to layout. Left the line. We're going to click the headline we just made. Remember, we did this with our headline package. We're going to lock it so then we can't select it. Select this. Goodbye. You're done. Unlock all. Take this. Send it back. Look, now we got the overlapping. We're almost done, you guys. Look, we're almost done. Save. Save it. Save it. Save it. I'm going to have to show you guys a picture of Squiggy on, like, Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Home stretch. Look, here's our big ass. Ooh, excuse me. Big thing. Boom. We're here. All right. I want this to be the same size as this. So, how tall is this? Oh, wow, that's pretty specific. So, this is obviously not in the right place, guys. What do we do? 
Oh my gosh, what if we rotate it? 180 degrees, no way. Guys, that's like actually freaking crazy. Okay, that's on point, like, you guys. Like, that is literally like the same size. Okay, maybe like a little bit. I had it, I had it, I had it. No. Okay, but see how I'm sizing it? So I'm gonna select both. Bottom line. Okay, this is way too big. You only have to do this with one because then you get to copy paste. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to du duplicate it. And then I'm going to take these two, align it. And then we want the spacing between them to be very similar. So to do that, let's just move it on here to like where they're on like a pike line so we can compare. Let's see if this... Okay, that's a little bit too close right guys I'd say one more out that's pretty close that's pretty I mean that looks accurate to me group oh wait don't group so now how do we get them like super light and airy and transparent like that so we're gonna select one come over here and I believe it's 80% what's this let me see Yep, 80%. So this is 80%. And this is also 80%. And then you're going to group these fellas. And then you're going to... Oh, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to group these back. Not out of caption. We're going to group them. And then we're going to select both of these dudes. We're going to go to layout. We're going to bottom a line. Okay, just kidding. We're just going to bring them down here. See, like, I hate this with Walsworth because sometimes they, like, align the wrong stuff that, like, I don't want to align. Like, no, I don't want to align that. And I'm just not realizing these are not the same size. Okay, I'm totally confusing you guys right now. So... These are the same size, right? Am I crazy? No, they're not. I was lied to. Okay, that is the exact same size, really. Anyway, so we're going to delete these. And remember how I said, like, where the little tail ends is kind of where we want the first letter to be. So let's scoot this over. Yep, that looks pretty accurate. And then we're going to take this, copy, paste, go to object, rotate it around 180 degrees, bring it over here. Line it up. Yep. And then we're going to take it, remember we did this with our headline package, send it to the back, or lock it, and delete the one on top. It's coming together. And then we're going to do that over here once more. Yep. Going to lock it like I said. Oh, look at what we're selecting. What does that mean? We lock it. That means we lock it. And then, oh, what's this I'm selecting? Oh, the freaking letter. Goodbye. So now we delete that. And then we copy paste this again. What do we got to do? We got to rotate it. Bring it downtown. God, I'm like a god at freaking lining this up. And then lock it. And then select the quotation marks on top. Save it. 
And look at that, guys. That's one finished spread. Yay! I yawned at the same time as saying yay, and I sound really dumb. Look, guys. We're done. Isn't that fun? So fun. We're done. This is what it'll look like. Thank you for bearing with me. Super long video. The other videos should not be nearly as long. But yeah. Good job, guys. If you followed along. You should have followed along. Oh, she just yawned in my face and it smelled like ass. Okay. I saved my spread. Look how beautiful, you guys. So beautiful. Okay. Thank you for listening, guys. If you have any questions, um, let me know. There should be kind of like a Word document of like everything. Like you need to know like measurement-wise. But, I mean, like, you really shouldn't even know, like, this video literally tells you everything you need to know, so, like, please don't, like, ask me a question that I've said in the video, because then I know that you didn't watch it. Okay. Okay? Okay, great. Okay, bye, guys.